All right, new updates here. Let's check it out. Ooh, I like his badge. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being screwed. Um, sorry, I should have watched the whole thing, but I'm immediately bumping on years on his lip sync. Over the last 10 years is it's a bit late. There's something weird. I think we keep closing the mouse so much. Activity over the last 10 years is being... Actually, over the last 10 years. Last 10. When I say last 10, I don't close my lips. So I'm conf uh, this is a confusing shape that you go so so closed and in years this just this feels more like your right as 10 years is this is the year saying the years so would be like all the way back here i'm exaggerating but years you really want to open up that mouth there your internet activity over the last 10 years is being screwed careful here you go up in a very straight way and then your wrist rotation is always the same remember my little ik lecture this is the this is the Red flag right there. You gotta work on hiding that IK. Being scrutinized and Same thing here. Just the way that rotation turns here on the wrist. And then the very straight translate on that arm. So very IK there. And In my mute. Careful that little wrist rotation up feels a bit drifty. It just happens very slowly throughout. In my mute. Vivid detail. This is good on his arms. Your internet activity over the last 10 years is being screwed. And then when you say years, see how it just goes down with the with the whole body and head? I would still have an ever so slight, even if you track the nose, ever so slight arc up. So it has a little bit of a years. He, he lifts the head just a bit during years. Last 10 years is being scrutinized and cattle. Scrutinized is being scrutinized and even through here it's a straight up you could have like a little scrutinized like a little bit of an arc and then back scrutinized and cataloged. that's great in minute vivid detail and i would still take probably a frame out of the first two left right vivid detail. it still feels a bit vivid detail versus Vivid detail. You know, you really want to feel that vivid detail. That shape there. It's cool though. Definitely coming along really nicely. That's a bit funky, first impression, because I'm seeing, you know, like what what is going on here? I don't, I'm not understanding those shapes. And then you got that. It feels like it feels like he's punching. If you if you hit, you know, if you do a fist, you would have you know your your fingers in like that but then your thumb is over you know what I mean it's over the whole thing and now the thumb feels like it's inside the index so you're gonna break your thumb you're gonna want to put that thumb over there just pose wise and I would do the fist here you know like that would be your composition and I, I probably would not linger so much because then, A, you get a tangent between these two, and it looks like he's looking at the fist. It's like a ginormous fist. If you're saying that, well, I'm I'm hitting, that's, you know, that, that's the size of my fist. His fist is still as big as his head. I'm still not quite understanding. Maybe this rig is scaled up much bigger than uh, this guy, or you got a crazy lens. But there's something really weird. Like at this point, I would do probably like a 45 lens or something in Maya. What do you? I'm not sure he needs to look out this way for so long. Even in a peripheral vision, if you open the door, you're gonna see this mass standing in front of you. So you can you can have eye contact earlier. This feels just a bit weird, especially this that he turns the head. Why still looking? Like what is he seeing over there? That feels weird. What are you doing there, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken? And then I would just say keep animating. You know, there's nothing there except the face, which I think in terms of the looks and and all that stuff, I like. What are you doing there, Reynolds? Your DVD player broken? I think you could have one more change. What are you doing there, Reynolds? That is fine. And then... Your DVD player broken? 
DVD player broken. Even during this part, you could I would already go into something more like that, expression-wise. They're broken. And then at the end, um, you know, the last accent can be what you just did. No. Right. And then you got this guy. Ooh, it's much shorter, huh? What are you gonna do with this one? It's just gonna be that's the whole shot and not the ending, or it's curious. For polished stuff, you know, you see all that root movement. There's so much going on, which is great. Nothing's going on here. There's no foot rolls, no compression, no sideways tilts or anything. And then now his feet slide backwards. See how the toes are here and when I'm going back, they're back here. So you want to maintain that toe position so it feels at least on one. Maybe, you know, you might argue, well, maybe the, the other one slides back, but then really make it a slide. Right now it's kind of in between those two worlds, so it feels more like a mistake. And then on push-offs like this, like there's something about, you know, I mean, you've got to keep on going with having fingers just for a frame or two. You want them flat like that, like you want that um, flat finger thing and not going, hey, it's definitely not going through geometry, but I wouldn't have them always bent down like that. So it, it feels like there's always a rake, you know, and it's never, never compression, even through here then you want to have them maybe one index could be curled but then the other ones would be flat like you want to feel pressure on those hands and fingers there's some funky in the camera where we have really big left and right and you zoom out at the same time i don't know if it's a translate it feels like a translate i'm not sure if it's, that's a lens thing slightly confusing because the, re the relationship to the camera, the distance of this guy's top head there, is always the same. It's slightly weird because it feels almost like you're translating and doing a lens change. You know, if you're going back to see more, then don't move this guy as far back. I mean, does that make sense? Like, it feels like you're moving either the camera back in physical space or with a lens, but at the same time, you're trying to keep the relationship of the guy's head to camera the same, which feels really weird. So this gives me a really weird movement at the end there. Yeah, and I would slow it down just because you have that big move right here, and then we cut. So it's a very disorienting thing when you when you start with a big move and then you don't finish it. So it's, like, it's just a big move. It feels like we're cutting too early. Or if you're going to continue with a neck shot, maybe that neck shot would have to have a crazy move too. But I thought we were on his close-up, and on close-ups, you don't really want to move as much as this here. It's just going to be all very confusing. So I would just go this, maybe, maybe this, but then really slow it down. Have like very minimal, minimal stuff there. And even here, see that, if you look at that tree, it's here and then here. From here to here that's a linear key how you're starting that camera so definitely ease into that move a bit more and i will probably on this have his eyes he's looking here he needs to look at the guy's face so i would rotate the head from this to this and that starts first so maybe by now you start so that by here you have a clear like a lead with the head, the head goes up first, getting into to this. And you know, then hand contact on shoulders and stuff like that. Arm arcs on this guy, it feels like this guy's doing this. So, and I know there's some shake in the camera, but it still feels like it's it's something in the anime, not the camera. So you can you know make sure that when you do those arcs and that stuff, at this point, you mute all your handheld. So it's just a kind of a static camera, so you can have proper arcs and then you put in the hand -held. also watch out once this head goes back here it stays in the same orientation throughout you know there's no side to side tilt or a bit of up and down so i'm like panicked like get away from me like some not you have to have a crazy shake but it's not so static all right thanks all right there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.